Hello, my name is James Grawl and today we're going to be working in Vegas Pro 11 and I'd like to show you how to make a logo interact with the surf. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on the media bin and create a new bin for my surf video. And I'm going to right click here and create a new bin for my image or images. And then I'll click on video and I'm going to go ahead and get the video in the film folder called Gentle Surf and for images we'll import some images from the pic folder we'll get this colored logo as well holding down control as well as the logo white go back to the video and go ahead and pull that onto the timeline and this is what this looks like I'm going to go back to the beginning and the logo is going to be interacting with the values of the surf and how they change. We'll push the pixels around. So there is no change in the sky so I'd like to get rid of the sky. There's two ways to do that. You can use this button and do a event pan crop or over here use this button and use the track motion. I think it will be easier to use track motion. So when this dialog box opens up, you have a few buttons here. If you have this button, it will scale about from the center. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and restore that. So I actually want that off. And this one will lock the aspect ratio and I want that on so I don't distort it. So I'm going to grab this corner handle and just pull it up to make sure that the sky has been cropped out of the picture. I'll go ahead and close this and then you can kind of scoot through it. If you want to go faster you can click here. I'm just making sure that the sky has been eliminated. I'm going to go back to the beginning using the transport controls. And now we're going to add the logo. I'm going to right click and insert a video track go to my images and I'll do the colored one first and yank this all the way to the end okay this logo is a little large so I'll do the same thing I did before but this time I'd like to scale about the center that'll work for me the next thing that what I'd like to do is to give it the filter that will have it displace by the video underneath it. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. And to get that filter, you go to the green button called Compositing Mode and click on that and go to Custom. And we're going to be using a Sony displacement map. Okay, right now the water is being displaced by the logo. I'd like to reverse that. So it says flip input surfaces. Okay, let's take these back to, to zero. This says alpha channel scales RGB channels. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm going to go ahead and click on it. This will control how much distortion is being caused by the waves and that's the horizontal and this will be the vertical distortion caused by the waves so I want it to be recognized the text to be re recognizable so I won't, I won't push it too far maybe something like that and let's go ahead and play it Okay, I'd like to be able to see the water underneath the logo. So what I'm going to do is um, you can duplicate this track by right clicking on it. And the reason you want to duplicate this is you've already cropped it. So duplicate track and then you can just drag this track underneath. Well, you can leave it there. Excuse me. That's fine. And then 
it still hasn't changed. So what you have to do is you have to make this track. A, you have to make it a compositing child of the track on top by clicking this button. So if you didn't do that, you wouldn't be able to get to see underneath it. So once you do that, then you can see underneath to the layer underneath. Apparently, when this track gets a displacement filter, it just behaves that way, and you lose the visual. So by making this a parent, I mean a child of the top layer, somehow it lives inside the logo and it allows this to be shown through it. So let's go ahead and play it now. So you can see how the logo interacts with the surf. As the surf moves, the logo moves. Let me go back to the beginning. If you want to see some of the water through it, you could take the opacity of the layer down and then you could see the waves through it. Of course, then your logo would get kind of dim. There's one other thing I thought I'd show you. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. Go back to beginning. And with the white one, what you can do is you can take the image and mask it inside of the white logo. But you need this on top. So I'm going to make one more duplicate. Duplicate track and take this track and put it up on top of the logo. Now right now because it's sitting on top of the logo you can't see the logo but I can make a mask out of this. So the way you do that is you click here and you go to multiply mask. And it does darken the image but it does allow you to see through the white to it into it so that's the end of my video thank you very much for watching god bless and bye bye